And you are now locked into the mic with DJ JSO on WPPM 106.5 FM. I am joined in the studio. Ugh. I am joined in the studio, guys, today with a very special guest. But before I introduce her, you already know what's going on. This is Indie Indie Wednesdays, and you already know how you can get involved. You must become a priority track, a priority record. And if you want to know how you can become a priority record, all you have to do is just hit me in the DM, ask me the question, hey, Jay, how do I become a priority record? And I'm going to give you all the details you need to know to get on air, to get in the clubs, to get everywhere you need to be to get seen but i'd like to introduce our special guest today dj k dev what's going on what's going on everybody thank you for having me on your show today absolutely absolutely i mean is it is, is honestly a pleasure to have you on to get get some of that new york see they say new york was the home of hip-hop so I, it's only right that I get a New York DJ on here to come, come talk yes, come talk yes, peace. Tell me your oh, piece, Oh, absolutely. Man. Well, you <laughs> see, I am from New York, but but I am known as the Queen of the Trap. So I have my own podcast show called the Queen of the Trap Podcast. Okay. Um, we were run. We're now going to be starting season four, which is going to be at the end of February. Um, we're gonna have new graphics. We're gonna have new. Um, artists on the show so if any artists would like to come down contact me I mm -hmm. also do um, exclusive one-on-one -on -one interviews um, so you could dm me for that uh, just that like this so you already I'm know telling you, I'm working. I have been working so I also like I said I do one-on-one -on -one interviews um those are exclusive. Those go on 14 plus platforms. You get your own flyer. You get continuous promotion. I also um, do mixtapes. Um, I'm going to be putting all my mixtapes on livemixtapes.com this year. Oh, y'all heard her. Uh -huh. I have an official DJ account now, so I will be placing all my tapes on there. All my previous tapes can be found on Mixcloud, DJ K Dev, Queen of the Trap Podcast. You can find me on YouTube at Queen of the Trap Podcast. What else do I have going? I have she so everywhere. Go, so I am yeah. everywhere. Listen, she said live, live mixtapes, man. She says she got the podcast going, man. She has a lot going on, so make yes. sure y'all tap in. Follow key, DJ K Dev on all I'm social also platforms. on Heavy Hitter DJ New Era's Fitted Cap Low Movement team. Another one, okay. Another one. So we are outside all over. That's my DJ team, but um, Queen of the Trap is my brand. DJ K Dev is my brand. I've been DJing for steady probably two years now. I'm still new to the game, but I love my trap music. I love drill. I love everything. So I encourage everybody to email me your music. Um, yeah, you know, I, follow I, me at DJ K Dove. Let's work. Yeah, I, I kind of noticed that you do a lot of um, the trap music. I, I, you do a lot of like two chains. Um, I see you do a lot artist. of the, the. I see you do a lot of the drill music. A lot of the OTF. Right. Mm -hmm. So so tell us, I, I mean, just for the listeners, um, what is your your favorite artist? What is DJ K the favorite artist? Or I would say favorite uh favorite out of the out of the drill or the trap. What would you prefer? So I would have to say the trap because I grew up on the okay, most okay. fire mixtape DJs, DJ Holiday, DJ Spinatic, Trapaholics. So when it comes to artists, I would have to say Jeezy, Two mm -hmm. Chains, um, Gucci Man, uh, Pooh Shiesty, Free Pooh. Oh, Pooh Shiesty is book. Uh, oh, uh -huh. just but, dropped but, new news. New news on me. I did you not didn't know. know that. No, I didn't know Shiesty was book. He's been for like a year and a half now. I don't think he's coming out. No. Uh, I'm praying. Might, I'm praying. I might have like lost another one, man. I keep saying that, like, he is Gucci's not even gone, but he right. is the reincarnated Gucci man. Like that man's career is going to go forever. See, I, I, I mean, we got Kodak back, so I, it's, it's no yes. reason to say we might not get Shiesty back. You know, mm -hmm. you never know. And Fujiano, free Fujiano. Too. Yo, hey, free Fuji, man. Mm -hmm. Bet to the to the AE family, man, down in the L ATL. Um, speaking of that, tell us, so how does a, a New York DJ, um, come to love 
the love like a southern style music such as trap um so i guess it kind of started when i was younger i was i was always hanging out with the boys and they were always listening to trap music and they all had their subs in their cars and i'll be in the car with them and i'm like oh man i love this so like i kind of got accustomed to it when i was younger and it just kind of progressed as time went on and like you know i wanted to be able to make my own mixtapes so when i first started out um, I wasn't a DJ. I was hosting right. a mixtape for a DJ and he helped me put that mixtape together. And that mixtape kind of like took off. I did what is called street work. A lot of okay. people don't do that no more, nope. um, which is I printed out 500 hard copies and I went to my local bar and I handed out free copies to everybody. The cover has, it's called Welcome to My Trap House. Um, it's got uh, Gucci Man and um, Rest in Peace Young Dolph on the cover. I actually got to hand Young Dolph my first mixtape. Hey, party. let's and go. That's I dope. Had That's dope. That mixtape before he passed away. But so I guess it was just like a progression as as I was younger. I fell in love with the music and and you know, music changes every three to five years. So That's facts. as far as trap music, I feel like some of it's kind of stayed the same, but some of it's taken a little bit of a different direction. So it's getting used to the newer trap music as yeah. opposed to everything I used to listen to and still right. listen to. I think in, in general, music always has that evolution every like three to five years, right? Because yep. you, you you get that, you got like the early 90s wave, right? Then yep. you got like the late 90s wave, you know, early 2000s coming in with the Blueprint and Jay-Z, you know, um, uh, what was the other guys? Uh, oh, man, another down south group. It should be like um, the, the Fresh in My White Tea. Mm. Oh, um, oh. Oh, D, D4, no, that's not D4L. No, that's uh, not D4L. Franchise uh, boys. Yes, there you go. We them franchise boys. See, see, when you, that's that early. And then, like, right, like, it coming into that, like, later 2000s, like, right before the 2010s, the music started to change a little bit. That's where you yeah. get people. Um, Like, you got um Snoop before he passed, rest in peace. Um, You got... um speaker knockers before he yep. passed rest in peace and then that kind of gave us this introduction and even some of the little little uzi vert tracks earlier little uzi vert tracks that didn't get a lot of recognition when he first uh came yep. out that kind of broke open that door and then like people who made it major like juice world and xx tenacion these people created um even like ski master slump god people who were founded on soundcloud that had this new um retro sound that opened the door for all of the sounds like now i know and it's so sad that like they left this earth so early because i feel like that music would have been progressing as time went on but you know you got to think about it too before all of these people passed they were sitting in the studios left and right and people have their files somewhere so like we're always going to keep it around but it's it just thinks that we don't have them with us now and actually this would be great for us to talk about so you know like um you know there's been a lot going on with like the violence and stuff like that are you one Thanks. of those people who are going to stop playing that type of music? Because um, I don't know if you. This if is an interesting music. topic. She so just I dropped the bomb on the show today on Instagram. I made it my question of the day. So for us DJs who get yes. sent music all the time, are you go? If you hear a song about violence anymore, if you hear a song about gangs, are you going to be the person to play it? Because everybody else right now is saying we're canceling it. Blah blah. Is Drewski, it... DJ Drewski was one of those people who people said that. Who spoke? And I right. was like, you work with a lot of drill artists, so how are you going to possibly do that? And Crutch Calhoun is one of your biggest artists from Jersey. How are you not going to play that man's music anymore? So that's my question. Are you going to be one to still play? See, well, see, the, the first thing I want to say about this topic is that drill music, uh, trap music literally is our culture. Like that's that's literally a lot 
of where our young boys and girls come from. So that the first thing I want to say is you can't you can't really um take something out of the culture that already exists, right? Yeah. What you can do is innovate because that's what we talked about, that how music changes every three to five years. Yep. And so I won't say I will stop playing drill or trap music. What I will do is try to find those innovative artists, those innovative drill and trap artists. Like for instance, Lil Dirt just did a like kind of a, I don't know if you call it a pop song or a rock song with, um a group I've never heard of because one, they're, they're not hip hop. They're probably some type yeah. of pop or rock band. Um, and that song, I, I think you can look it up on YouTube right now. Um, that song is probably done over like 5 million views and it's only been up like probably a week, if yeah. not less. Right. So that at, at that point, you just, as, us as DJs is our job to kind of just promote the music from the same artists that's good you know what I mean they can drop whatever they want but we're gonna what have would to start filtering what we play exactly that, I was thinking about it today like how am I possibly like, I'm the queen of the trap I play trap mm -hmm. music all the time but I don't always play trap music I play but, a lot of other stuff too so but don't just well, think I play trap but then music. there's those innovative trap artists like T.I. right yeah. like his last album was was great but Amazing. people, right. But people haven't heard it because there's not DJs playing it because there's no hype behind it. Like, oh, a street beef or something like that, where the socials will pick it up. So yep. we just have to understand as DJs like that. We are the influencers. We have the power to control what's hip and what's actually buzzing in the streets. Yeah. So I think it's up to us. Like, so you being uh, the queen of the trap, right? Yep. If you the queen of the trap, you got to lead. The trap heads, the people that listen to trap music the right way. So you could play certain tip songs. It's still trap it's music. It's so hard, but, but I'm going to definitely try. Because <laughs> I, I was really thinking about this this morning. I'm like, how am I possibly going to be able to do this? And I asked, do you think it's going to hurt people's money and their following after they start changing the the way that they do things because I, I, there's people that come to us like i want to hear my favorite song i want to hear it and it's like well we don't want to play it anymore how do we tell these people no up oh, now you're gonna get unfollowed up oh, now i'm not gonna do business with you wait uh -huh. see and that that's that is an interesting topic though i think um just the people that that really that really um love you and love your brand they're not going to fade away because you won't play a specific song, especially yeah. if you're still playing that artist. Like, for instance, like um, Meek Mill. Meek Mill has a lot of like um, music, right, that depicts violence, mm -hmm. um, the ghetto, the struggle, yep. things we've been through. Right now, I've, I've, I, I've gotten Meek songs approved to play. Right. And the way yeah. I've done that is by choosing ones like other side of America that don't just talk about the violence partition of it, but how it how it affects the society and how the effect yeah. that people just kind of overlook it, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, the, and this is what I'm saying as DJs, we just have to innovate in that way. Like we can still play music. We just got to pick the songs, right? And then yeah. spin them correctly. And it's my, 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 my mixes still be lit. I uh, know, mine too. Mine too. <laughs> so, so I'm pretty sure uh, for those DJs who are a little bit more experienced, especially more than you and, and more than I, because um, you you stated you've been doing this for two years. I've been doing this for three years, um, going on four years now. Um, so there's DJs that have been doing this for 10, 15 uh -huh. plus years. So I don't think it would be an issue um, to not play specific songs that, um, ignite beef specifically like yeah certain songs. and that's what hip-hop's hip-hop and music like especially New York I mean hip-hop we grew up beefing through words through music not so much physical so why can't we get back to that state no I see because people too too these these kids too active you know they don't know how to do a battle rap without like ended in a fight <laughs> that you know what they say about us down south that we are very egotistical people because we're from new york and we don't like we yeah. just do it i mean I, honestly uh being in atlanta um i definitely understand the northern ego right yeah because being in atlanta 
um, there was so much love. There was so much support for the, the other artists. Yeah. Um, and it wasn't like, oh, everybody was just Joe. Like everybody wasn't yeah. just Joe and everybody, but it was just like this genuine, it was just genuine. Like, oh, hey, what's up? How you doing? Like, hey, oh, you, you performing tonight? Oh yeah, I'm performing tonight too. Oh, what's your grand? Which, like people were just was genuinely connecting, right? Yeah. Whereas here, there's always like up North, New York, Philly, um jersey there's this like ego barrier where it's like mm -hmm. it's so hard to make it if you even have a little bit of success like your head is this big like mm -hmm. so so that's i think that's the the issue is you have to just kind of humble here we have to humble ourselves to just not to um discredit ourselves yeah. but to the point where we're able to be genuine between other people who work equally as hard you know yeah. what i mean Agreed. Absolutely. So for you um, in New York, um, what's some of the people um, you had the chance to network with um, and do mixtapes with? Um, so, so far out of New York. Um, well, I'm from Long Island, by the way. I don't think I told anybody that. Um, so Long Island. Right. Because New York is a huge state. So it's important to get that state, out the way. And, you know, we could say I'm from New York City, but I'm not. Um, right. Long Island is a little small. We're Queens, Queens, all the way to Riverhead and the Hamptons and stuff like that. So, um, but Long Island. So I have... Recently, I just uh, worked with Street Heat. Well, Street Heat invited me to, now if you don't know who Street Heat is, they are like the Long Island natives. They put out every music video possible. Go tap in what we'll see. Um, so they invited me down to, um, what was it? The Lobby Boys, which is Jim Jones and Mano's soon to be album. They've been promoting it a lot, so. A lot, I, facts. Jim Jones, uh, just a sidetrack, sideboy. And you check the just, trends. Yeah, we just uh, dropped the album. It's so good. Yes, yes. He is a priority artist. So actually, again. another person I met that day, Lyra Valley, he is on that mixtape as well. And he is also going to be a part of the Lobby Boy. So stay tuned for that one. Um, also, who else from New York? Um, Vizo Hart. Shout out to Vizo Hart. He's a great artist out here. Um, also, um, yeah, don't also, forget nobody. They're going to be calling you later. What? I said, oh, don't yeah, forget they're definitely nobody. going to be calling me later. Also, there is, hmm, let's see. Um, oh, FK Mar. So if you like drill music, FK Mar is big and popping out here. Very big and popping out here. Go tap in with him. It's Biscuit. It's Biscuit. Um, so if you don't know, we have a big, well, we have many studios out here on Long Island, but our main studio is Social Media House. That is um, the biggest blogger in the world. It's Biscuit's Homeland. That's his studio. And um, we actually, I've, I've met a lot of people over there. I've met uh, Vado over there. Yes, I just sir. recently saw him. Um, Uncle Murder's been over there. Um, Benny the Butcher's been over there. I'm 15 minutes from this place. So I just go over there and they tell me who's there that day. And I'm like, all right, I'm pulling up. And I also that's do dope. a lot of DJing and stuff over there. But for um, artists that are trying to record out in New York, Long Island, you should definitely tap in with social media house. Definitely tap in. See, and tap I think- in. I think this is dope because um, episodes like this um, where, you know, they get they get other DJs and um, other influencers that that aren't artists. Yeah. Um, they get this information where, like, I know there's some artists out there that listen, especially some of the people that listen to the show um, that are interested in doing some work out in New York. Yeah. And it's really is just that simple as, you know, calling up Media House and saying, hey, like, I would like hey, to book a I session. Get... Mm -hmm. And they make that happen and next thing you know you're out in new york you got new content for your yep. socials and everything like that and you networking with new artists that you yep. didn't have to like shoot them a random dm like hey what's up can we work which uh -huh. is absolutely <laughs> i I'm actually along with that so with my one-on-one -on -one interviews i don't only do artists i do everyone so i recently just did um somebody from new jersey uh he does films 
so I hosted a, a, a short film for him okay. and he won an award for that and everything like best Jersey film and stuff. So I hosted one of their, one of his um, events for him and I interviewed him about that. So not only do I just do artists, I also do DJs. I did Key Glock's DJ. Everybody knows Key Glock. Mm -hmm. um, I just did DJ Memphis, um, DJ New Era, so like, I don't only just do artists, like let's network. I want to know about people's businesses. I want to know what you're doing just as much as you want to know what I'm doing. And we could all work together because that's something I, I want to do with people. So I want to work with more people. I'm not one of those people who are like, eh, I don't want to work with you. Like, uh, and, and that's I want to work with everybody. I want to break bread with everybody. Like, it's your, your it's wild because um, a lot of people, um, they don't know. They don't know yeah. that like um we kind of all work together in this like entrepreneurial um yes. like it, it's kind of like a a secret society but it's not because it's yeah. like it's unspoken Absolutely. like no one's saying like hey this is a society of influences but most of the people um who are active and working we all kind of work together yeah. and it's dope because if you like you tune into Queen of the Trap podcast, you can find DJ New Era, you can find yeah. DJ Memphis, you can find these other guys and they can get, you can get information from them, then it's not even on their platform and then you might hear them talk about um, what they do and how they help artists on their platform, so it's simple, yeah. um, it's just literally, like once you, and this is what I tell my listeners and I tell the artists and for the people that's tuning in right now, it's as simple as just making that first step and you know making that's that exactly. genuine connection mm -hmm. with that first influencer and that's going to lead you to that next person and that person is going to lead you been talking about doing this like you you found me like what a year ago or something yeah. like that and it took us now to actually but we've been talking and we've been looking at each other's you know pages seeing what each other's been doing and we were like finally we need to start working staying up to so date like it just takes that it literally just takes that yeah, it honestly, just that time to let the, to kind of like let the genuineness work out and the network to happen, um, yeah. especially when you're busy. Like a lot of times what I realize um, is you got to keep your feelings out of things. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and this is also for the people that's tuning in right now. <laughs> keep your feelings out of it, because like you may send the influence of the text message. Right. Um, and for those who don't know this about Instagram, some messages go to like this secret um unknown like what? inbox on Instagram. Oh, you, oh you yes. know, like when people send you a DM, like it, yeah. let's just say you're not even following the person you send a DM to. It goes to this box and they may not see it for like a whole year uh -huh. before Instagram sends them like a notification like, hey, you have I 300. I make sure I check those all the time <laughs> because I didn't know about that for a long time. So yes, make a point of that but, because we, we do have an issue sometimes where people will get mad at us because we haven't contacted you back, but it's because like we don't notice that you're following us. So our message, it'll, it's, uh, what is it called? I'm trying to look it up. Oh, it's like, message requests. Ma message that's requests. what it is. It's like request message. So here's, and that's I the have thing too. You should probably like follow a person, right? Send them a message and don't just unfollow when you don't get a reply. Don't like a whole bunch of their yeah. <laughs> So they know, and just, it's, it's, it's like, it's simple. It's just social media. It's like, is a digital avatar of you. It's not like you actually going in their house and yeah. putting hearts on their pictures in their house. It's it's not that deep. It's, you know how many times a day I probably harass two chains? Probably <laughs> like he he's known who I am for so many years because I'd be doing that. Like I'll tag yep. him and stuff. You that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do to get like. You got to keep your feelings going. You got to keep your feelings out. Reach out to people, tag people, comment on their stuff. Like, just interact. That's what social media is, is for. Interacting. And it's honestly gotten so much easier over the years because where we were back in, before, like, you know, um, the streaming and stuff like that. Amen. How are we? We have to go to a concert. Be lucky if we ran into an artist. Now mm -hmm. we get to send you a DM and and a majority of the time they might write you back. So it's so much simpler. Just, just reach out to people. I just think, I, I think what happens is people overestimate social media, mm -hmm. right? They, they think it's like, um, a direct portal or a direct 
linked to someone and it's 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 kind of not it's it's it's, like not. A, it's just that digital avatar and it's it's like an email but more flashy yep. <laughs> it's like like you do know you can make posts on google right like so it's it's the same as google except here everyone's posting their videos and their promotions and stuff like mm-hmm. that and there's there's little ad tools you can use to make your post more appealing but yes. you could do the same thing on linkedin you can do the same thing on google you mm-hmm. can do the same thing on facebook but uh, ultimately um instagram and twitter um, or just these these networks where people think the reaction is going to be fast and um, nothing um, in life that's worth it is going to be fast. <laughs> nope. Trust and believe it took me a long time to get he- even here at this point. So. Yeah, so talk about a little bit about that, about how you started developing a, um, Queen of the Trap podcast and, and what was the reason behind it? So um, I was in the medical field for six years and um, stuff kind of just, you know, came crumbling down and then, and then like blessings happened out of nowhere. Um, I had a friend actually, shout out to Vizo, I just mentioned him before. Um, He invited me to one of his music videos to just be in the music video and it happened to be at a studio. Um, And I went over to that studio and I was talking about um uh what was it I was talking about the five elements of hip-hop because I'm also in college still um I'm currently I'm waiting till this corona is over to finish my classes because I'm in school to be a radiologist but I was actually fortunate to take a hip-hop history class in college and talk about hip-hop in my community so I was like I don't really know much hip hop in my community aside from my local DJs. So right. um, somebody told me to go to Amityville Music Hall. That's where I met Vizo. Went over to the studio to do a music video for him. Um, talked about the five elements of hip hop. And they were like, uh, do you want to be a podcast co-host? And I was like, Ooh. oh, okay. Like I've never, I've, I've never really thought about it, but it might be a cool thing to do. So a year into it, Corona happened. And I was like, I want to still podcast. Like, why can't we go to the studio? Like, so I started something out of my bedroom that I like, it just happened. I bought all this stuff to connect to my iPhone. I made it look legit and everything. And little did I know how fast it was going to take off. And I was like, oh crap, like, you know, like it, it's all happening at one time. And then it was like, people want me to, uh, what was it? I told it's Biscuit. I'm a bigger mm-hmm. Jeezy fan than you. And he was like, oh yeah, come to social media house. Came down to social media house. They put me in a promo and in walks in special entertainment. Everybody knows special ENT. Like he's one of the biggest people in this industry. And I'm like, oh, like, oh my gosh. Like, just people are popping up out of nowhere. Then right after that, met Uncle Murder and MMB because they were somebody I interviewed for my high school project going to one of their things. So it, everything just kept progressing. And I was like, during Corona was when I was like, okay, I think I'm going to start picking up the DJing thing. I had a controller for um three years but I didn't know how to DJ I knew music Mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about DJing I always watched my friends so six hard drives broke on me and I was like this this is not for me this is not for me like maybe maybe the podcast or maybe something else is for me but then um corona hit and I started to try and pick it up and then heavy hitters DJ New Era discovered me and put me on his team to help me build my brand off of mm. his brand so mm. here I am DJ K-Dev queen of the trap podcast building my brand off of Fitty Capital movement and In working business. my butt off you see I, I think I that's great I, and I think that's great see uh, a lot of people um that I speak to um it's, it's pretty much the same right we um we start out doing something that's completely unrelated to what we're doing now, right? And we we always have these ambitions of wanting to do more. Like we always knew we had some type of ability to do more. We just didn't know yes. what, right? Yeah. Um, and then life, um, life in general, and I think it's, it's like the world thing, right? Life kind of the world kind of started this shift. Yeah. And you either jumped on whatever opportunity that came by you during this shift, mm-hmm. or you didn't. And it was like, 
And once you did, it was like, even when that opportunity that opened the door for you stopped, you still keep going because like, yep. you're like, I'm already in, like, I didn't board all of this stuff. I didn't, people already know me as this entity. So I can't just stop. I got to keep going. Yeah. Um, and I think that's like the most great, the greatest thing about it. And the most wonderful thing um, is that you had that ability. You, you, you didn't know what it was. Um, I think for me, I didn't know what it was either. It just was like, Hey, this is opportunity. You know what? Like I'm jumping on this. Yep. Um, and- that's and what it was. And I have not stopped since you see me grinding all day long. I don't, all the time. Like I see that. you putting mixes up all the I time. I have ADHD. So like, I'm like the energizer bunny. I don't stop. Like I literally just texted you today. I was like, I was up till five o'clock in the morning. Down I know. Music. Uh, 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 I'm awake now. We could. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and what's crazy is um, that's really what opens that next door. Right. So that first door closed, COVID happened, you got all your stuff, you you kept going, right? Yeah. And then because of that, someone else noticed, like, they probably saw you before you got all of the stuff and seeing yeah. you was moving in this direction. And literally, they can see when someone else might have not been right, because why are you still doing it? But these people not involved no more, right? Yeah. They see this, and usually that's when they contact you with a better opportunity. And that's that led you to being a, with them heavy hitters and being able to get taught and learn your craft better. Um, yes. I also, I can't announce anything yet, but I have some big, with what you just said, those phone calls and those blessings. I've had a lot of phone calls this week and a lot of big blessings that are about to start. So definitely stay tuned because I, I can't announce anything I'll, yet. I'm not going, no, listen, you already but know DJ J, so is locked in. Coming, big things coming. See, and, and, and my thing, and here's, this was, this was my thing. Um, Cause when I, when I first got my first opportunity, um, it was the same, right? Mm-hmm. I just kind of took it and I didn't know how it was going to work out. And even yeah. when it didn't work out the way I kind of thought it was going to pan out, I didn't stop. I kept going. I made it work. You get what I mean? That's the situation I'm kind of in right now, too. See, And that's the situation of being a creator. When you're yeah. an entrepreneur, when you're a creator, none of there's no blueprint for any of this. Right. Yeah. So we're good. just we're just kind of Figuring building it out. It exactly and, and building from it exactly. building from it because i like I, you know i was telling you before like i'm i'm starting back at the basics with everything like you know i i've known music for years like my i tell you my crates are loaded but like when it comes to like the mixing and you know learning um where to bring stuff in i i'm starting brand new and fresh and i want to make sure that i progress even better than what i was doing prior to what I'm doing now. And obviously it's gotten me somewhere because I've gotten phone calls. So I'm doing something right. Yo, <laughs> and, and that's crazy. Listen, if you haven't tapped in again, so for all the listeners, if you haven't tapped in yet, um, make sure you tap in with DJ K, K- Dev and the Queen of the Trap podcast. Yeah. Um, listen, it, cause you've seen for the people who've seen my growth and um, seen what I've doing, um, if there's um, anyone that I've been like following on social media, um, um, that I see like that similar growth pattern it is, is, it is your, your, your account. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, I know you always be commenting on my stuff. That's why I was like, we need to work. Like we really need to work because I genuinely like what I do on social media is like, I genuinely find people that do what I do, um, or do that could help. For instance, right? If I have an artist, and my my business is promoting artists and amplifying the culture, right? That's yeah. my slogan. That's what I say. That's what we do, right? Yeah. I get them on my show. If I they say, hey, you have any other opportunities? I want to always be able to say, yes, mm-hmm. I have another podcast. She Queen of the Trap. This in New York. Oh, yeah, I got another uh podcast in Atlanta. It's the Progress Report. I got another podcast over in Texas. I want to be able to say yes 100% of the time and Absolutely. never be able to say no to amplifying the culture. Absolutely. So, like I was just when I was just discussing my team, we're not just in New York. We're in Alabama. We're in Jersey. We're in Atlanta and um, oh, there's one other place, uh, Florida, Florida. 
So we're mm-hmm. all over it. We're all DJs. So you, you know, these people could send us music and we could be putting it out all over. Everywhere. I know, I know right before I go down to Alabama, I'm asking all my New York, New York artists, what music you got for me? Send it to the email. I'm going down South. Let me break records down South that they wouldn't normally hear up here. And that's what you got to keep doing. Actually, um, Breadwin and Kane. Breadwin and Kane is um, a part of, uh, what's his name? Kevin Gates' label. He's the co-owner right. of that label. Um, I did an interview with uh, Breadwin and Kane. He's from Alabama. And I brought one of his songs out to New York, which is, uh, he did Shooters with uh, Boozy. It's called okay. Shooters. And everybody loves this song they're like who is this man I go, right, you got to get that one to me then. Alabama. if they, if they so love like, it in new york I, i'm pretty it, sure philly might catch the vibe go download it it's called breadwinning cane featuring boozy and it's called shooters go down boy y'all know y'all heard it here first man yes y'all, know y'all heard it here first on the I mic on also, five, man I also got an exclusive. I just posted it on my Instagram. It's not even out yet, but there's a new Jim Jones and King of Long Island, which is um, Richie Valentine. That's good. Um, he's going there. Him and Jim Jones are going to be putting out a track. I just placed it on Instagram with his mine and his official tag. So you could go keep it, but it's not out anywhere yet it's an exclusive so go tap in with that too oh for sure for sure he just sent me that over so shout out to him yeah and i think that's another thing that's dope um is that we're as djs we're all connecting um and we're creating this network um that can literally give like independent artists because a lot of and even a lot of the industry artists who were who used to be signed they're going independent Yep. Because I think even they kind of see like the labels don't show you love. The DJ show you love. Uh-huh. The media and hosts show you love. Those podcasters one, show you love and YouTubers show you love. This is one thing I tell everybody. You have to find who your local DJs are or you have to find the DJs that you think are fire and flood their, I mean, not their Instagram, their emails with your music. That's how we're going to discover who you are. And if we want to hear it, like I get, I get music sent to me emails all the time and I will sit there and review them. And I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to play this today. So you never know when we're going to play it. You never know if we're going to mess with it or not. Like, just send it to us. Utilize us. Because we yeah. might be the one to break your oh, record. And sidebar. You will- sidebar. Sidebar. If you go and send the music, make sure send you the money, send- too. Oh, that, too. I wasn't even going to say that. But what I was going to say, if you go and send the music, make sure that you send, like, your name. Make sure you yeah. send, like, a bio or something. Like, don't DJ just send. Keys yeah. very... The- I love those. Send me, send me a whole file of who you yeah. are, how many followers you got. EKPs are a, let's a go big thing a big thing. I hey, I used to manage too. I used to, um, I used to manage Justina Valentine, and I was doing the wild and out after parties before Corona hit. So I had to literally send out her EKP to everyone. Everybody loves an EKP when we can find out everything about you in one simple email. And, 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 and it makes and our lives easier it does it does and then like we don't have to like figure out like who's this random mp3 from uh-huh. <laughs> like i don't gotta email you where's back their, like what's your name their website where can i find their music it's right there for you yeah so again as always you already know you're getting a lot of gems right now getting a lot yep. of gems right now with us oh man so let us know um, for the listeners, for everyone else that's tuned in right now. Let them know how they can lock in with you, um, get involved with Queen of the Trap podcast, and where they can find you at. 
So basically, you can find me on any outlets, Queen of the Trap, DJ K Dev. I'm on Instagram at DJ K Dev. Um, my Mixed Cloud is DJ K Dev, Queen of the Trap podcast. I'm on Twitch. I'm also on YouTube. The Twitch is DJ K Dev. The YouTube is Queen of the Trap. Everything is either DJ K Dev or Queen of the Trap podcast. So you can find me, you can Google me on all outlets. Um, all my all my uh, audio for my uh, interviews and my podcasts are distributed on 15 plus outlets and you can find them everywhere. Anchor is also my distribution company. So you should all look into Anchor because it is a free website. To- it's dope. It's dope. <laughs> um, a lot of the you people. do all that stuff. So, I mean, get involved, get involved, get in for sure. Have been See, with me. For, for and those I who don't, I appreciate this so much, and I oh, thank you so much. Of course, of course, of course, man. I appreciate you coming on the platform, um, and just chopping it up with me. You know, Absolutely. chopping it up with us, everybody here, and all the listeners here that's tuned in at Philly Cam. Listen, I appreciate um anyone who takes the time out um to come and drop some game on my listeners because like Aww. they need it they need it man and they i need appreciate all the game you having get. me on here and i'm excited to work with you more and definitely if you have anybody to send over to me send them my way and i absolutely. got you as well absolutely i mean that's that's what we're here for and I, I, for the people that's listening you see she's like yo if you got somebody, send me over. So make sure y'all submit and submit and submit into that email still. You know the email is voicethemike at gmail.com. You can check us out on Instagram at the mic 106.5. Make sure y'all following our station, Philly Cam. Um, yeah, this is your host, DJ Jso. Peace out, y'all.